This is a 4 kilowatts dimmer circuit. If I connect a bulb to its output pinouts and a 220 volts AC source to the input pinouts, then even after turning on the switch, there is no brightness regulation, which means it is damaged. Now, seeing the damaged electronic devices brings no surprise and we all deal with that in our day-to-day -day lives. And in majority of the cases, there is no danger. Taking an example of the SMPS power supplies, like the mobile chargers, laptop chargers, printer adapters or computer supplies etc. When these get damaged, there is no output voltage or current and hence not dangerous at all. While in this case, things get reversed. It gives out full uncontrollable power when it gets damaged. It is dangerous because of what I am going to show you now. Let's say that I have this universal motor connected to its output and I do not know that the device is damaged and so, as usual, I will set the knob to the minimum and connect the 220 volt supply to the input. Now when I turn the switch on, then instead of the minimum, the motor is going to get the maximum input which if loosely connected can fall off the table, hit you if you are close to it or might even short the wire if it moves a distance from its place because of the jerk. So while using it with a high speed motor, one should be very careful. Moving on to the repairing part. Let's open up the controller casing quickly so that we can analyze the faulty component or components. Now that is the inside view of the controller. Although I cannot see any burnt component here. Anyways, uh, so let's open up the rest of the casing so that we can start with the fault testing. For fault test, I will be checking all the components on this PCB. So starting with this potentiometer and pointing the meter to the resistance checking mode. So the potentiometer measurement reads 422 kilo ohms since the controller was set at the minimum. So turning the knob a little bit and here we have 288 kilo ohms this time. Let's turn the knob further and measure it once more. This time the resistance is just 5 or 6 ohms which means it is at the lowest so it is fine. Now the resistances usually go under open circuit. Let's see if they are fine. 4 kilo ohms, 33 kilo ohms, again 33 kilo ohms. So they seem fine. Let's check the fuse here. 3 ohms, it's fine. One more resistance, 4 kilo ohms. Moving on to the continuity check. Starting with the rectifier. This one is a rectifier. Nothing. It's also fine. It's all fine. Let's do the continuity check on these two capacitors now. Starting with the yellow one. It's fine. The red one. Yeah, fine. Moving on to this small component C321 and I'm not sure what it is but let's do the continuity check. There is no beep seems like it is fine. For the final component we have this BTA41600P triac. So let's check if it is under short circuit. These three other terminals. Okay. Oops. This one is under short circuit. This is fine. This is also fine. Seems like our triac is damaged. Now I have another new triac and if we do the continuity testing on this one, you can see there is no beep, which means that was under short circuit and dead. So let's replace it.
प्लीज नोट दैट फॉर डीपर नॉलेज ऑन दीज टॉपिक्स एंड सम रियली क्रूशियल की पॉइंट्स मेक श्योर दैट यू ज्वाइन माई पेट्रंस पेज दैट आई हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड विथ विच यू विल नो द प्रोजेक्ट दैट आई एम वर्किंग ऑन राइट नाउ प्लस वेन इट इज रिलीज इट विल बी अवेलेबल फर्स्ट ऑन पेट्रोन एंड देन ऑन यूट्यूब प्लस इट विल बी एड फ्री also there will be video clips to help you improve your understanding of the project and pointers that you won't find anywhere else plus a lot more box which you can read on my page link is in the description and comment section so coming back to the topic after replacing the triac and assembling all the parts of the controller back as it was before it's time to connect the wires so first i'm connecting the bulb holder to the output pin outs and then 220 volts ac source to the input pins after that it is time to test it working nice and smooth that was quite simple right hope that you enjoyed it so that's all for today make sure that you visit my patrons page from the description and comment section bye bye